my name is Dylan and today I'll be doing an unboxing video of the new Aquarius P50 atmospheric water generator from FND. Here you can see the P50 comes in a fairly well protected box that has straps along it. Begin by simply cutting off the straps. What you'll need to do then is just open up the box at the top as follows. Once inside you'll notice some polystyrene. Just cut it open. It's a uh, set of tape to each other. In order to get the unit out of the box, you simply need to find where it's been stapled, the box has been stapled to each other, and just simply pull it away. The box easily opens up as follows. You can then also keep the box if you would like to repackage the unit at a later date. You'll notice that at the bottom of the box is the power cable, cable that is made and ready for South African plugs. You will notice the dispensing faucet over here, as well as the tray upon which bottles and so forth can be placed. Over here you will see the electronics panel that shows how much water is left, how much water is being used, and so forth. On the side of the unit you will notice a little uh, compartment. The note says inlet for external water, note for barrel and water, for barrel water and municipal water only. So this is an inlet for additional water that you can filter through the filtration system of the Aquarius P50 unit. You'll also notice two handles on the side with, that you can use to pick up the machine. Once you have freed it from its box, you'll notice that there are wheels at the bottom for, to easily move the unit around. At the back of the machine, you'll notice a socket for the plug unit, as well as the on and off switch. You'll also notice the air filter over here at the back which you can remove with a little piece of cloth that they have placed here for easy removal. Over here is the air filter that's used to filter well the air and this can be cleaned quite easily every month or so. In order to release bulk water from the unit all you need to do is turn the unit around and open up this outlet valve into a bucket. Water, all 19 liters that are kept in the storage tank will then be released into the bucket. It is not suggested that you lift the unit up once the tank is full or once there is any water in the tank. For this reason, it is better to place the unit on top of a box or a crate or something that can increase the height of the unit so that it's easy to release water from the outlet valve once the tank is full. It would also be wise to place the unit in such a position that it's easy to access the outlet valve. Another option is to connect a pipe to the outlet valve so that it's easy to release bulk water from the storage tank. Okay, I've lifted, a by, I've lifted up the machine on uh, some wooden units so that you can see more effectively. You will see that the unit looks like a small fridge, but that's not what it is. If you open this bottom part up, you'll notice all the various filters that are within the unit. Now, if I come around to the side, 
you will see that on the left hand side here it has a effective water filter out of sediment, rust, suspended organic matter, residual chlorine and harmonia, uh, harmonia odor. This bigger uh, filter is the reverse osmosis filter. It says it's a reverse osmosis membrane filtration theory of precision can reach 0.001 to 0.0001 meters to intercept water efficient bacteria and heavy metals. Over here, this filter is the intercept E. coli and other bacteria intercept colloids, reduce turbidity, suspended organic matter, residual chlorine, and again, odors. And again over here, another filter, which is a water softener, used resin removal of calcium and magnesium and soft water. So, over here you can see that there is a significant level of filtration. In, in addition to the three layers of air filtration, there are within these four units, six layers of water filtration. Over here, just above the filters, you will notice that there are instructions explaining to you how to remove and replace the filters. These filters need to be replaced roughly once a year in order to ensure pure, pristine drinking water made from air. Okay, so once you've taken your um, P50 out of its box, you just simply need to plug it in. It's that simple. Take the plug out. Take the plug out and plug it into the back of the machine. Plug it into a wall socket and flip the red switch at the back. Once you do, you will see that it turns on and immediately begins to work. It is sucking air from the side and purifying that air and then pushing it out at the back and obviously processing the condensation, the water condensation in the air into the tank. Over here you will notice that there is a water switch, a on and off switch and a quiet switch. The water switch releases the water from the dispenser and if you push, press it again it stops the release of water. The on and off switch naturally turns the machine on and off. The quiet switch is designed to run the machine at a lower frequency so that it is quieter. However, if you run the machine at a quieter rate, the water production will be a little less. Over here at the top, you'll see a little green button for the air filter, or at least not a green button, but a, a green light. When the light is green, it means the air filter is good and does not need to be changed or cleaned. If the air filter light goes red, you know you need to clean the air filter or replace the air filter. Over here we have the temperature and humidity. As you can see here in Cape Town, it is currently 25 degrees Celsius and the humidity is 76%, quite high. For the machine to work effectively, the temperature shouldn't go lower than 15 degrees Celsius and the humidity not lower than 25%. Now in Cape Town, generally we have roughly 60 to 80% all throughout the year and generally our climate is quite average. Over here you will notice something that says TDS, that is that stands for total dissolved solids. The less total dissolved solids you have in the water, the better. Roughly 300 or lower. Over here we have a Wi-Fi option. Sadly this only works in China. They have not yet developed models that have Wi-Fi connection for South Africa. Over here you can see lights for the water filters. These correspond with the four water filters below. Now, if the lights go red, it simply means you need to change the water filter. Over here you will notice the VOC and PM2.5 filters, or at least not filters, but indicators. These indicate the nature of the air, um, the purity of the air. 
and then at the bottom you have the water level in the tank obviously if it's on low it's the, it means that there's a low water level and then you have medium and high over here right at the bottom you have a scanning window this is very clever it uses um, NFC technology so that you can take the filters and actually place them over here in order to scan them to check if they need to be replaced or not after running the unit for a few hours you will notice that the unit is now full it also gives as mentioned before the total dissolved solids inside the water as you can see the total dissolved solids are significantly less than the minimum required for pure drinking water of 300 once there is water in the tank it is very easy to get water from the unit all you simply do is place your glass on the section provided push the water button and in roughly two seconds water will begin to release from the dispensing unit as you can see there is now a steady flow of water once your glass is full you simply press the water button again and the dispensing will stop and it's as simple as that right and that's as simple as, as it is um, all the other instructions are in the booklet and if you have any more questions you can check out our frequently asked questions page or send us an email Hi, my name is Dylan Cromert and this is a test. Hi, I'm Dylan and today I'll be doing an unboxing video of the new Hi, my name is Dylan and today I'll be doing an unboxing video of the new Also, there is an outlet pipe at the back. I can't show you right now, but if for any reason you want to let the water out uh, in bulk, you can just open the tap and the water will run out.